Well, I'm going to try to do something a little different tonight. I'm going to try to use a handheld mic because I've been having problems with the volume on my computer. I'm not a tech head, and so I'm going to try this and see if it works a little bit better. I, in the last video, I talked about the encouragement of believers and how that we have the promises of God that he will not leave us. He will not forsake us. He will not eat, leave us utterly destitute. I'm sure Job in his experience felt like that God had left him destitute. But we know the outcome of Job's life. You know, Paul asked three times for Christ to heal him. And Christ said, my grace is sufficient for you. Today has been an unusual day for me. I've tried and tried to get a specific video out uh, that we did on Sermon Audio, and I would encourage you to go to Sermon Audio and uh, just plug in under Google Sermon Audio, whether it be House Church, and look up uh, the title, How Can a Person Be Forgiven and Justified by God? And listen to that, please. Because I tried to get it on YouTube multiple times, and it just did not come out. And I, I'm i not one to give up very easily. I'm pretty tenacious. I know there's a reason for everything. In Him we live and move and have our being. God is providential in the hand, the life of all of His people. And uh, when we talk about the 23rd Psalm and the comfort it gives us, um, it doesn't matter how many times we've quoted the 23rd Psalm, we can continually get nourished, spiritual nourishment from it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Sometimes Satan seems very real attacking us and we can't take Satan on by ourselves we have to pray that God we know that God is making intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered and when we start talking about the blood of Jesus Christ and when we start talking about the effectual nature of that blood when we start talking about the fact that Jesus Christ entered once into the holy place to make sacrifice for sins, not multiple times like the Mass proclaimed, the Roman Catholic Church proclaims in the Mass. And the author of Hebrews over and over and over again talks about the fact that Jesus Christ entered once and made a sacrifice for sins once and gave eternal redemption for us once. And yet, we're just barraged by all of these other ways to God. And the 10th chapter of John says if we climb up some other way, that we're a thief and a robber. There is only one way to God, and that is through the only mediator, Jesus Christ, and his precious blood that he offered on the Christ on the cross once for for our sin and and for his people's sin not for everybody's sin without exception do a study in the book of hebrews how many times the author of hebrews says that he died for the sins of many not all you know pope francis is proclaiming that jesus blood is uh, uh, effective for atheists and for um, all kinds of people that don't even believe in Jesus Christ. That's not what the Bible says. Jesus Christ came to save his people from their sins. And we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But yet, Jesus Christ died for the sheep. 
My sheep hear my voice, and they know me, and they follow me. And no man can pluck them out of my hand. I and my Father are one. He giveth his life for the sheep, for the sheep. And it is, he says that to the Pharisees, you know, you are not of my sheep, for you are of your father the devil, and the works of your father you will do. And uh, we know that it is a complete work that Jesus did for us. We were chosen in him before the foundation of the world. He was slain from the foundation of the world. He was manifested in time. He came and he died and he gave his precious blood on the cross for all of his people. And he rose from the dead and he's seated at the right hand of the Father and he's making intercession for us. This message is an encouragement to all believers that we can be at rest in knowing that his sacrifice on the cross was a perfect sacrifice and it paid the ransom for our sin. And we don't have to rely upon a priest or a pope or purga pay our way out of purgatory or pay for indulgences or uh, go to Lent or go to the Mass or worship the Virgin Mary or pray to the Virgin Mary or to patron saints or go on crusades or any of those works. The foundation of God standeth sure he knows who he is. And I'm glad to know that this morning we can rest in the completed work of Jesus Christ and on Jesus Christ the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sand. His oath, his covenant, his blood supports me in the whelming flood when all around my soul gives way. He then is all my hope and stay. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before his throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground, all other ground is sinking sand. And so regardless of what conspirational things you might see on the Internet and on YouTube and all of this focus on the Antichrist and on the end time events and on prophecy and and on the New World Order and the Jesuits and all this. Listen, Jesus Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is Victor. He's the Alpha. He's the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. He said, I am that I am. And he is seated at the right hand of God, making intercession for us. He is victorious, and he will come back as a conquering king. And he will put all of his enemies under his feet. Praise God. So be encouraged today to know that God is on the throne, and he will intervene for us, and he will... Um, Underneath us are the everlasting arms of God, regardless of how many times we fail, regardless of how many times we have to do a video to make it come out so you can even hear us talk. You know, God is victorious. And we look at physical things around us, but we should be looking at the spiritual things. Heaven and earth might pass away, but our Heavenly Father will never pass away. <laughs> Praise God. And uh, I'm glad to know that I'm serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And I'm glad to know that Satan is already defeated. And uh, he may be the prince and power of this earth, but Jesus Christ is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the perfect sacrifice for sin. And he is already completed the work for my eternal salvation. And I'm looking forward to eternal communion with him. Father, we pray that you would take this message and we pray we'd use it for your glory and may your name be glorified, we ask in Christ's name, for your glory alone. Amen.